In this video, I'll explain how to add listing categories and custom listing fields. First of all, you have to define the structure of your directory website by adding listing categories to make it easier for users to navigate. In the case at hand, I'll add some listing categories that are common for most directory websites. For example, real estate, services, and for sale. To add a new category, go to the Categories section. When adding a new listing category, set a name for it, add a description, and set a parent category if you want to turn it into a subcategory. This way you can add multiple category levels. Also, it's better to upload a category image. When finished, simply click on the Add Category button. Keep in mind that there are no limits, so you can create as many listing categories as required for your directory website. In the same way, I'll also add two extra categories behind the scenes. Once you are done with listing categories, it's time to add some custom listing fields. By default, the listing form contains the basic fields like title and description, but Hivepress allows you to add your own fields and search filters specific to the directory you are building. Please note that in Hivepress all custom fields are named attributes. So, to add a new attribute, go to the Listings Attribute section and click Add New. Since we added three different listing categories, Real Estate, Services and For Sale, each category may require specific listing attributes. So, let's add a few attributes for each listing category. For example, Add the square footage field for the real estate category. First, set the attribute name and allow its front-end editing so it appears in the listing form for users. Here, set a unique field name used for storing the attribute values. And here, select the field type. For the square footage field, it's better to use the number type. In the search section, you can allow users to search and filter listings by the attribute value. Let's simply mark it as filterable, sortable, and select the search field type. I recommend using the number range so users can filter listings by the square footage range instead of some specific value. Finally, you can define how the attribute value will look on the listing page by assigning it to certain template areas and setting its display format. You can use the replaceable tokens in the display format. Simply hover on the question icon to view the available tokens. I'll use this display format for this field. Also, since this attribute is specific to real estate, it's important to select the corresponding category so it appears for the real estate listings only. After you go through the attribute settings, Simply click on the Publish button. That's it! We have just added the first attribute. Let's add one more. But this time it will be for the For Sale category. For example, let's add the Condition attribute so users can set the item condition when they add a new listing. To do that, click on the Add New button. Simply name the attribute Allow its front end editing, set the field name, and choose the field type. It's best to use the select type for this attribute. Next, mark it as filterable and select the same search field type. Finally, let's select the template areas for this attribute and set its display format. I'll use this one. And of course, Select the listing category before clicking on the Publish button. Since this is a selectable attribute, it's necessary to define its options. To do this, click on the Edit Options button and add options that will be available for selection. For example, let's add new and used options, so users can indicate if they sell new or used stuff. That's it! In the same way, you can add unlimited attributes. 
but please note that each subsequent searchable field may affect the search performance, so it's better to keep the number of search filters to a minimum. I'll also add a few more attributes by following the same steps, but I'll do this behind the scenes just to save your time. Alright, now we have the listing categories, fields and search filters. So let's move to the next video and try to add the first listing.